Hi, so the light's not so good in here. I'm in my motorhome. Um, and I have been listening to the audio books of Anne McCaffrey, Dragon Riders of Penn. And they were being read by a lady on YouTube. And in amongst it, um, she brings out the book, a uh, complimentary book called The People of Pern. And in that, they discuss the restorative drink called Kla. Anyone who enjoys Anne McCaffrey will, will remember this being mentioned many times before. And they actually give a recipe for it. And then the, the lady who's reading says that there's this other recipe for it as well. And, and that um, when you go on, on to Google and, and search, you find all these different recipes. So I have been trying out these different recipes. And this is where I am with this. Now, the only thing that is missing is the fact that I am in my motorhome and I don't have a grater for any chocolate. And funnily enough, I don't have any chocolate because I seem to have consumed it all. Um, so normally you would grate in some real chocolate as well into this, but I'm going to show you the mix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up in here because I always mix up way too much. And what I end up with is that, is that thick goop at the, of the bottom of the, of the cup because I've put way too many ingredients in. So I am going to mix the ingredients in here. Um, and then that should be enough for a couple of drinks. And so I can then show it out in a couple of months. So I will take you through the recipe. Okay, so to begin with, we've got a spoonful, a nice heap spoonful of a strong coffee. And then you want a cocoa powder not just chocolate, but a cocoa powder to give you a bit of a cocoa kick. And again, I'm doing everything in the large. That's a large heaped teaspoon of the cocoa powder. Then we add the sweetness, which is a, a drinking chocolate. Now, I don't put milk or cream into my car. I like it as black as anything, so a milk chocolate. I just need to swap. So a milk chocolate, a good heap of milk chocolate um, powder in there. And then we are on to the spices so we have an allspice and you want about half a teaspoon of allspice in there and then it tends to taste a bit better if you put an extra dose of about a third of the spoonful of nutmeg. Add that into the mix. And then cinnamon. Now I like my cinnamon, so I have to say I, I put a, a good teaspoon of cinnamon into my mix. And then this, this is the kick, okay? This is what makes you feel like you've had a an alcoholic drink. Your mouth tells you that you've had an al alcoholic drink, but your brain tells you that you haven't. And I would say a third, third of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Let's give that a good old mix. So you can see why, see the amount that I've made there. That is, well, there's probably a good few teaspoons in there. And it's easier to mix it at this level. In fact, I'm going to put just a tad more chocolate in there. Because to me, that doesn't quite look right. I 
but this is for my flavoring so i like it to be a bit more on the sweet chocolate and a bit more on the cinnamon so i've upped those ingredients just a little bit I'm going to get my cup and I'm going to put a good heap teaspoon in there and then a good, <laughs> that's probably a flat teaspoon, isn't it? I was trying to keep myself there. It was half a teaspoon, but it's not. I'm just going to then add into the cup because I can't add it into the dry, dry ingredients because it's obviously wet, but this is vanilla essence and I'm going to add a teaspoon into a into one cup if you've got any of those dispensers it's probably a squirt and then I'm just going to add a little bit of water because I like to make sure that everything's mixed well so I mix it into a little bit of a thick paste to begin with Now, there are some options on this if you look at it online. Um, one is that you strain it because the cinnamon is not very good at actually mixing. So if you put this through a, per um, a coffee percolator, like a filter coffee thing, it can help infuse the taste of the cinnamon without leaving you the bits of cinnamon in your in your drink um another option but i'm camping i haven't got those sorts of facilities on me love this for camping this is oh when you when you've got wet and you need something to warm you from the inside this is that this, this does the job um I've got Cody down on the floor playing with a, a tennis ball in the in the van. It's not very helpful <laughs> to take in videos. Okay, another option you can do is you can sweeten it up with some honey or any natural sweetener that you like. Um, and if you like milky drinks, then you can add milk as well. I don't particularly like it. I think it dulls the taste. I'm just going to taste that and see if I got it right. Yep. Yes. It's this time it's missing a little bit of body and I think it's probably the chocolate because I haven't got the chocolate to grate into it. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit. I know I've got some chocolate in in the van. I know I've got some chocolate in the van, um, but I don't want to just melt a, a, a knob of a, you know a chunk of chocolate in there. Although that might you know that might work quite well. <laughs> they say you can add rum to it as well, or any of your sort of like alcoholic tots that you like to put into a drink but it really really doesn't need it i mean this is going to give you that kick without without it oh yeah that's it that's hit the spot it was the chocolate that was missing and with that little bit of extra chocolate there's always a way around something isn't there oh yes it's got that sweetness it's got that kick it's got that tingly on the tongue I tell you, after drinking this, I'm not going to feel like I was out in a storm. <laughs> Have a go. It's definitely worth it. But I would say that to everybody's taste, it may need to be tweaked slightly. So if you really like your chilies, then you might want to put more cayenne pepper in it. Um, I'm not a chilli person, so I like to feel the tingle, but I don't want to be overwhelmed by it. Um, but yeah, there you go. Dragon Riders of Pern, Claw to the rescue again.